Welcome to our next lecture. Content and structure words. The content words are stressed in the sentence. They are nouns such as house, Kate, freedom and so on. Main verbs for example drinks, played, talking. Adjectives clever, happy, beautiful. Adverbs very slowly, quickly. Question words uh, such as who, why, where, what, when, how long. Demonstrative pronouns these, that, those, or negatives never, don't, won't, and so on. On the other hand, structure words are unstressed in the sentence. They are articles. For example, a, an, there. To be verbs uh, such as are, was, where. Pronouns, for example, I, he, they. Conjunctions, or, and, because. Modal verbs, could, would, should. Relative pronouns such as who, that, which, and so on. Prepositions in, about, under, or auxiliary verbs uh, such as do, be, or have, even if they are used as main verbs in the sentence. And now study the following words uh, and try to say which of them are content words and which of them are function words. And here are the answers. The content words are computer, big, how many, suddenly, lake, eat, believe, when, as a question word, never, love, sometimes, easy, don't, buy, often, five, those, and luckily. All the rest of the words are unstressed. They are they, was, has been, since, hours, shall, an, between, and, we. And now study the following sentences and try to distinguish which words are content and which words are function. And here we have the answers. Pay attention that content words are written here in capital letters. And they are stressed in the sentence. 1. Tom has lived in London for five years. He had finished breakfast before I arrived. You could do it better. Kate bought a skirt today. They don't understand this chapter of the book. John has never been to Spain. Unfortunately, she won't come on time. Pay attention that some of the shorter sentences, they have more stressed words than the longer sentences. And these shorter sentences can often take longer to speak than longer sentences with many function words. For example, Mary bought a nice big present for her parents. They'll have to study hard if they want to enter the university. I want to finish this lecture with the words of the British artist and author Edmund Divar. With languages, you are at home anywhere.